Wireshark is one of the most well-known packet sniffers in use today. It is a flexible and powerful tool. Any IT security professional will know how to use Wireshark. Wireshark has been getting better and better with each release. It will likely remain the industry standard packet sniffer for many years. To begin, download Wireshark from www.wireshark.org slash download. Click Download Windows Installer. Download the latest stable release. Double click on Wireshark setup 1.8.5.exe. The software version numbers will be slightly different as newer versions are released. Click Next, I Agree, Next, Next. Save the file in your C Drive security folder. You can create a security directory if you have not already done so. Next. Click Next to install Wind PCAP and install. Click Next and Finish. Next, double click the Wireshark icon on your desktop. You can also access it through your Start menu. Click the Interface List. This will display a list of all available network interfaces on your computer. Note the interface with the most traffic. You will select this interface in the following steps. If there are duplicate names for the network interface card, you can use it, the last three or four values of the MAC address to identify the appropriate NIC. Close the Capture Interface window. Click Capture and Options. Select your network interface card if it is not already selected. Your NIC will undoubtedly have a different name. If you do not know which NIC is your active network card, you should keep trying them all until one of them works. Then memorize the model name and number of your NIC. Click Start. Let it run for 10 seconds. While you are waiting, open a web browser and go to www.google.com. Return to your Wireshark window. In the File menu, click Capture and Stop, or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-E. Scroll up until you see a green and blue area. These are the packets you captured when you requested Google's main page. Scroll down until you see a line that has get slash http slash 1.1. You may have to try more than one until you get to the packet that shows www.google.com in the bottom pane. Select this text, www.google.com. Select that row. In the bottom pane, you will see a bunch of numbers to the left. It's the packet's contents in hexadecimal. Just to the right, you will see the content of the packet in a column. You just picked packets off your network and looked at their contents. There may have been lots of traffic that you could not interpret. Do not worry about the information on your screen that is difficult to understand. As you learn more about IT security, it will begin to make more sense. Thank you for viewing our Wireshark demonstration.